who we sell everything by the who so when i got you to do that role play of the gold play gold and silver session it's for people who it's the silver session is for people who so when they say to you what's your gold session or what's your 60 minute session you don't say oh it's more time that's a transaction yeah it's for people who mm -hmm. who's the ipad for who who's the, the the 16 gigabyte ipad or the, the 32 gigabyte ipad well, it's for people who want to put more movies on the, on the thing because they're traveling a lot. It's for people with three kids because they want to put crap loads of pictures of the kids. Mm -hmm. It's for people who? It, oh, who's the 16 gigabyte for? Oh, that's just for people who want to surf the internet and just screw around on the couch of an evening because they don't really put much stuff on it so they're not going to use more memory. Mm -hmm. So if I sold those two iPads by the who, by the thing, you'd confuse the shit out of me as a consumer. Yeah. Oh, well, you've got more memory. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Or you've, you've got better graphics. Oh, huh, okay. How's that benefit to me? Yeah. Because you as the Mr. Apple who loves Apple and loves the iPad, you understand what difference that makes to me. But me as the consumer, Joe Public hasn't got a clue. So when it comes to the discovery session, I've said it from day one, years and years ago, the discovery session is for people who are not quite sure, they know they need to do something, they wanna make um, progress with their health, they wanna get some clarity, they wanna get some certainty, but they also don't wanna make a big financial commitment because they're not there yet. Yeah. And I as a business owner understand that there are more people in the world like that they're now ready to hand over a hundred pound. But if I can build a business for the skeptic, which is essentially what we've built here, the skeptic, they're not ready to buy now, they've no intention of ever booking an appointment at my practice unless I build a bridge. And if I don't build that bridge, they ain't walking over it and nor should they, because it's my job as a business owner to build it. Step by step by step by step. Again, how do I get authority and credibility and respect? I figure out who my customer is and I build a business that is perfect for them. And when I've built that bridge, Guess what they never do? Walk back over it. Because no other sod in the world wants to do it. Talked to a client yesterday, she had a picture, brand new clinic. She had a picture in her office of a, um, of a, of a huge like lagoon type thing, right? Type of thing you'd see on Indiana Jones with one of those woody, crickety bridges that goes across, right? And over the other side was this beautiful tree. Right, and it was quite pivotal. And all you could see was the bridge and, and like this horrible, woody, old fashioned thing. And then this beautiful tree over the other side. And she said, oh, what do you think of my picture? I said, I couldn't, you couldn't have picked a better picture if you'd have tried. You wanna know why? Because that represents the journey that your customer's going on right now. It's the beginning, the this side of the, of the lagoon. So down below them is like a hundred, a thousand foot drop to a canyon with water flowing fast, with bricks and rocks and all sorts of shit. That if they fall, they're dead, right? And what we're expecting them to do as business owners today, all over the world, is to walk across that bridge, right, without any fear. So I'm at, like, you picture yourself, there's this bridge, and every time you put your toe on it, the bridge moves, and you're fearful as hell, and you might take two, two, foot, two steps forward, and then you go, no, 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 it's not for me. I don't like this journey. But I can see the beautiful apple tree on the other side of the, of, of the, of the, um, of the water, and I want that, I need it. That's the life that I want. It looks sunny over there. There's obviously a little bit of rain which I need to survive and exist. That's where I need to be. But right now, this bridge is just too rocky. Like, and I don't trust it. It doesn't look as though it's gonna, it's gonna be safe. It doesn't look as though I'm gonna get to the other side. So my job as a business owner is to knock that thing down and put a big concrete fucking steel bridge across it. And however long that takes me to build that bridge, even if, if I've got to get them a thousand foot across a lagoon, right? Instead of this rickety rackety old thing, the Indiana Jones style, where you just know when he gets a third of the way across, like one of the ropes is gonna break away. And then you know when he steps two, two more feet in, one of those old fashioned wooden like plates that he's stepping on is gonna break and he's gonna drop through it. That's the journey that customers go on. And then you know as he gets two thirds across the bridge, some guy with a big bloody samurai sword is on the other side waiting for him, trying to chop the like the, the, the string or the whatever it is that's keeping on the rope. And some guy's chopping away at the rope while Indy st storms across the bloody bridge trying to get to the side where the holy grail is, the fountain of youth or whatever it is that he's after. That's what customers do. That's the journey that they go on for business owners today waking up. And if they can accept that, they'll be a lot richer because of it. And the world will be a lot happier and easier place to live in. So our world becomes thousand foot. What do I have to do, all right? I have to take the time to start to build a concrete steel bridge across so that all my customers can confidently put their foot on the steel, on the concrete, and think, hey, you know what? I'm quite safe here. There's no, like, no one behind me with a sword gonna cut some rope down. There's nobody in front of me. There's not like three steps missing on this crickety old fashioned bridge. Like I don't have to jump across it. I can just make my way at my own pace. 
And if there's something not there, Paul will build another bridge for me. He'll build another 300 foot on the bridge. And the first bridge is the free information. So the first part of this bridge, where I'm putting the steel down to say, hey, just step your toe across and see if you'd like the first 300 yards of the steel bridge I've built you. And then, if you're confident, or you're not quite confident enough yet to jump the rest of the way, I'll build you another steel part of the bridge, which is the free discovery visit. And then if at the end of the free discovery visit, I still need to build a bridge, I'll maybe give you a workshop and you can come down and you can spend some more time on my staff and other people just like you, and you can figure out for yourself. You can look around and you can see that there's no snakes and there's no spiders and nobody's gonna take your money off you. Nobody's gonna do anything bad. And then you can put your foot across into the world to see what it's like where this beautiful apple tree is. You can have all the nourishment and all the food and all of the stuff that you need to survive. And I know that there's no need for you to run back or you can if you want, because there's a steel bridge there as well, but go. But I know you won't, because I've done the thing that no other business owner wants to do, which is build that concrete bridge.